Now, the House of Representatives has passed the motion seeking to probe multiple grid collapse in a country. Reason before members of the House of Representatives at Plenary, Honorable Sani Bala from Kano State, expressed concerns over the constant reported cases of the incident. Bala says national grid collapses only occur where there are system disturbances along the transmission lines connecting a number of generating stations, stating that since 2013, when the privatization exercise took place in the power sector, the country has witnessed over 100 national grid collapses. He also expressed worries that experts and operators had opined that the situation would linger for a long time if not addressed. Further concern that only this year the national grid has collapsed eight times more than the three times recorded last year, thereby causing national power outages with enormous socio-economic implications. Equally concerned that the latest in the series of power failures has been adjourned among the worst country the country has witnessed in recent times, which in turn indicate that, indicated, indicate that there is no framework or spinning reserve meant to postal, postal such occurrences. Bala's motion was supported by the deputy minority leader of the House, Toby Okei Chuku, as the bill was unanimously passed by members when put to vote by the Speaker, Honorable Femi Bajabiamila. Other countries start poor generation problems uh, to solve them and they transit into solving them. South Africa, that is less in population, generates close to 50,000 megawatts, the same with Egypt, and a country that has more than 200 million people is not able to generate up to 5,000 or distribute up to 5,000 megawatts. How can we industrialize, Mr. Speaker? So I believe that we have issues which is disturbing, making it impossible. You might be talking about unemployment. 